And here comes our first crew of the day in on approach, and let's see how they fare as they try and approach the dock. But welcome back, crew, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, and today we are down here visiting 79th Street. And he doesn't like it on the first attempt and is going to back out. So Cap's going to try and line this one back up and see if on attempt number two we can get it right. I mean, he's got his crew working here. We've got fenders out, people grabbing lines, and, I mean, it looks like he should even get the assist on this one as he inches closer to the dock. And, man, he's going to break check one more time. Attempt number two is also a no-go. Getting a little heavy on the throttle as we come in on number three, which possibly means the frustration is starting to set in down here. And he's given orders. I mean, he's doing what a captain should be doing. Staying at the helm, saying, hey, bro, go ahead and grab that line. Get that set up up there. But be careful standing in the bow with this captain around as he lays into that throttle again. So we've got a handout, it looks like, by somebody up in the bow. We've got somebody in the bow ready to possibly grab a pull or jump off. But Cap's going to miss again. Whoa! Little heavy throttle action, trying to get that stern back around. And our guy gets on the gunnel. And there we go, goes for the leap, and he winds up getting onto the dock. But of course, he doesn't have the mid cleat line, he's got the bow line, which means the bow's gonna come in and the stern is gonna kick out. So Cap's gonna have to try and get this one over. There we go. Our crew's going to get it on the dock. Nothing like getting a little assist as you try and get off the boat. And here we go. And slip her down. As she tried to jump off. It's always a little higher than it looks. So here comes our next crew in on approach on the dock. And Cap's taking it easy. Trying to get the bow inched closer over so somebody can get off. And our guy in the bow slips for a second. And almost went in the water, actually. But somebody's got to go for the get off. There we go. Over the rail. Onto the dock. But the current and wind is flowing right to left across our screen. And as you can see, that means the boat's going to go to the left of our screen as well. As our guy on the dock has the line and has to try and figure out how to get this one back over. So Cap really needs to throw some power on this one, but he actually steps away from the helm. I know it's a little tough to see as it starts to get dark. It's one of those funky lighting moments right now down here at 79. And there we go. We're starting to make our way right back in the right direction. But man, we are taking up both areas of the ramp right here right now. So this crew really isn't getting anywhere. They're not making any headway right this second. They need to try and get a line from the mid or the stern up onto this dock or bring it close enough where this guy can walk it around or cap. I mean, he could, it's a twin engine boat. Could use the port engine, toss that one in reverse and bring it back around possibly as well. But instead right now we're just kind of at a stalemate. on figuring out what they can do here. So finally, after several minutes, our kid gets back on the boat as they've determined that approach was not getting him anywhere. Now they gotta watch out. They're pushing off the boat, probably gonna have to push on the dock as they try and get out of here. Again, just one of those funky situations where they couldn't really get on the dock. Wind and current grabbed them. And here we go. Cap's going to have to push off the dock as well. And they're going to have to try again to see if they can get this one on the dock. So Cap back in forward gear. Our line man back up in the bow as we come back in on the next approach. 
but he's really got to get this boat turned. And Cat backs out again on this one. Just doesn't like the way it's setting up. You can tell by the water moving on the screen that, I mean, the current is really going right this second. So here we go. I mean, maybe he'll switch it up and let the current push him onto the dock. And he's gonna wind up backing up pretty hard on this one. And that would definitely be the deal is trying to go for a port side dock like on six sitting right here in front of him. Here comes our next crew in, and one of our last crews of the evening. As you can tell, it has gotten quite dark down here at 79th, but we're still down here catching the action for you guys. And Cap misses on a 10 one, winds up breaking out. Gotta be careful, it's tough to see, but there is a guy sitting in the bow of the boat, like up on top of the bow. So when you do those brake checks, which they're doing a second one right here, he, he better be hanging on. Now, I don't know that it's any tougher necessarily at night to dock. It's definitely tougher to boat at night because you can't see anything. It's not one of those things that I recommend. A lot of people love going for night cruises. It's just not my thing anymore the more I've boated year over year. The, the more it seems like an elevated risk factor to even get out there at night. So the crew's coming back in on approach number three now. And the stern's gonna start kicking out to the starboard side. And there we go, he's gonna back out again. You have to line it up one more time. You know, that's one of the beauties of boat hooks. If you've got a boat hook on your boat, man, you just gotta get within eight or 10 foot of the dock and you can grab something to pull yourself over. One of my favorite tools on the boat, for sure. So here we go one more time. This time he's gonna come in, heavy bow in. But again, when you do this approach, that means the stern's gonna kick out and you're gonna have to find a way to get the stern back over. So our guy who's sitting in the bow, is he gonna go for it? There he goes, he's on the dock. And now Cap can throw one of these engines in reverse probably and try and get that stern back around. And the stern came off as well. The stern line holder came off the boat as well onto the dock, and this crew should be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, crew. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at the inlets. My channel, Broncos Guru, does some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Haulover, a man and machine take on Mother Nature down at Haulover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.